Well, today I'm up here on the South Ridge at what will hopefully become our new home site. So this would kind of be our front yard eventually. This is the top of the hill. Over here is where our old solar panels were that came with the place that we've since taken out. And uh, so I'm going to try and clean up some of these trees and uh, I'll show you where I'm going to, where I'm thinking about putting the house. There's quite a bit of trees that need to be cleared so I'll be spending a good bit of time over the next month or so just working through that, getting the trees out of here. And uh, then hopefully we can get the well rig up here and hopefully hit water. So I'll show you a little bit of what we're doing today. Okay, so this is uh, sort of what the driveway will be where we're standing right now. Some old roofing metal laying here I need to get cleaned up, but over here to the left is where the home will be. And this is right on the hillside. So the basement will go right in there. Right about here is where we're gonna put the house. But I'm going to be clearing, if you can see those two light colored trees, kind of about from there, we're gonna clear all the way to, let's see, right there where that flag is. So that's the other side. So this is all going to be cleared. That way we can put a place to park for both trucks and probably cut a road down the hill to access the walkout side of the basement. And uh, also this opening this up will give us the great view we want. But in the meantime, I've got uh, I've got to go in there about 70, 80 feet, and I have to cut about 100 feet. Probably there's th a lot of trees that need to come out of here, so I'm trying to get. Uh, the ones I want for wood, for firewood, and uh, then we'll bring the the big guns in and get the dozer in here and actually start clearing the land. But first I'm going to clear this, then we're going to do the well, and assuming the well hits water, that's when we're really going to start rocking and rolling. So today we're cutting trees. This is it. This is where it crossed on me. I'll try and get it to do it again. Oh. All right. Wow. Right really? I just walked all over up here and this is where it crossed. So, I mean, put a flag and we'll see if we can find an easier spot to get to. But this would be off of the northeast corner of the deck. I have to clear over here. I don't know how we're going to get a rig over here. but yeah, Getting a well rig going. in here. Uh, we could possibly do it once we get uh, the trees cleared and get the um, the dozer in here. Let me try and come down on it. I can't really walk in here. Okay. Crosses every time. Right here. All right. Here. You want to get a marker? Should we put a well or? No. I don't know what it is. All right. Well, well that's one possible spot for a well. Yeah, well, like I said, I've been kind of walking all over here. It doesn't really, it doesn't really cross anywhere. Well, maybe here. Really? It's, it's kind of down that area. Possible this water's running this way. I mean, underground. Yeah, there might be a. a uh, or I'm absolutely insane carrying two metal rods and trying to figure out where <laughs> water is 500 feet under the surface of the earth. So I don't know. Could be one of those. There things. might be a vein there. I mean, that's that's like crazy. Like I didn't just do that. That's. Let me try it. Okay. All right, you gotta get yourself. Yeah, you gotta, I picture water in my head when I'm doing it. I picture just trying to hold these straight and steady and like mentally try and make try and make them not cross. Yeah. 
I crossed for you, didn't I? Yep. That's your other spot. Yep. Hold on, let me uh, get a better angle here. All right. Did they cross? There's water here. We're gonna get a rig down here. We gotta clear all this then. Well, when we clear this, when the dozer comes in, he can flatten this out so that that guy can back the rig right here. Because our, our property line is right there. And then it goes that way. So this is ours. Okay, we're gonna try this in a different spot. She's over there, down over that ridge where we just both found what we think will be a vein of water. I was up here yesterday doing it and I found a spot. It wasn't as strong, but I want to see if she finds the same spot. She doesn't know where it is, so I'll show you where it is. The spot that I found is right there. I marked it with those rocks. So in this general area, I got a reading the sticks crossed yesterday. We'll see what she gets. Where at? Like what general area? Just come towards me. Just. Right there. Back up two feet, straighten out, and come towards me some more. Can you see how they're on crossing as I walk? Yeah. Okay, come over here. And start from over here. Where? Keep walking towards you? Yeah. So they didn't cross where I cr found some. Well, let me walk back over there. I don't know where that spot was. I didn't flag it, but... My camera skills are sucking today. Did it cross again? I don't know, but I'm gonna walk and see if I can find it. We'll probably need another flag if it crosses. That other one was a good one. Yeah, but it's on a different lot. That's it, right there. All right. Is that where it was before? By the three tree? Between the two. Uh, flagged trees. It's on crossing a little bit. Let me come back at it. Same spot. Right here. Well, that's a, yeah. a much easier access to that spot. It's also a little bit higher. Left. It's a much easier spot to access with a rig, but it's a little bit higher. It's kind of, looks like it's going at an angle here. Yep. It might be the same vein. It's really crossy crossy. It's probably going down this way. Now wait, let me take a step off to the right and see if it uncrosses again. Yeah, that's freaking creepy. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, let me do it. I can't make this stuff up. I gotta try it. That's creepy shit, dude. <laughs> Whatever. There's water up here. There it goes. It crossed, it's crossing a little later for you though than for me. Didn't cross, but it pulled. Very inconsistent for me. Let's try not to fall down. <laughs> and that's right about where I had it. It's right between these two flat, these two uh, orange markers, but it's like, it's like very inconsistent. Alright. Possibly a well location. But it didn't work, it wasn't as consistent for you? No, but I, I might have had, I don't know. Yeah, that's where mine was. It wasn't where the flag was. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Some freakiness. Try to mentally keep the sticks apart. I am. <laughs> two options. If there is water, I think it is the same vein. I don't feel as confident in this one. 
Uh, the other one was like super cross and this one's kind of like hit or miss like maybe there's a little bit of water but maybe there's not as good of a flow or again maybe i'm just losing my mind i don't know <laughs> Well, I think there's probably a little water here, but there's a lot of water over there. Yeah. If this thing works. Okay. I would drill over there. Okay. Got a couple hangers. I don't really want them falling on me, so we're going to yank them down with a four wheeler. Just for that one.
did not get much done even though it seemed like I've been cutting trees for a long time Whew, pooped it's about to start raining this here is the southeast corner or the front of the house and that flag there would be the other other end of the house and then the house goes over from there 24 feet so I have to clear all of this and they're over there dousing for water again well day two or day three I can't remember got a bunch of trees down kind of hard to see because they're everywhere but that's what we're trying to clear because that's where we think we found water there's a vein of water in there that goes over this mountain top and down the other side and there's a spring that's coming out at the bottom of the hill into a ditch so we think we found hopefully a nice little place to drill and that's over there right now I gotta clean up all this mess so we could hopefully get a rig in here and that's what we're doing today Black locust. That'll make a nice fence post. Well, it was about three hours of work. Doesn't really look like I got much done, but I actually did. This was all trees. And I got it cleared enough that I can get the four-wheeler in here. Uh, I'll finish those limbs and branches the next time I get up here, and then I'll be able to just buck up all these logs. And then I'm gonna work on that area, which is where we think the water is. Uh, so we can get a rig back there, but. That'll be next time, so we'll see you then.